Luca, uh, the CIO of Arduino, and I'm going to show you the new Arduino Create and the new Arduino Cloud platform. Here we have a sensor tower, which is a simple way to interact with your object and your um, online platform. And as you can see, if I put my hand on the light sensor, then the light goes, the value goes down immediately. And this is uh, without uh, wiring can work out of the box with just Wi-Fi. And the nice thing is that our new cloud platform, which is right now free, is working with full HTTPS and encryption. Because on top of our Mega 1000, one of our new great products, uh, we have a crypto chip provided by our that's the new platform and what we have is a nice interface that allows you to create a, a new thing or new property with just a, a few clicks so i can add a new uh, sensor about water select the property type with no issue like the landing centimeters update on change in real time i save it and then we pre-build the code for you so we already write the sketch for you. We provide you single uh, unique identifier of your devices and single password authentication for your single device. So everything is completely protected. Then what we do is writing those property and reading those property with a nice API. And you are even able to open your code in our new web editor, which is this one. This is part of a bigger project named Create. Create is an ecosystem of different applications, which include our new web editor, a getting started guide to just get started with IoT, and more in general with Arduino. Then we have a project tab where you can upload uh, your project or read project from somewhere else. And then we obviously have the Arduino Cloud. So let's take a look at the web editor. In the web editor, the cool uh, thing is that you can immediately find your code, it's very nice, you can find a lot of examples already, you can just click on them and it opens up immediately, you can even see the layout of your board if you upload it there or the schematics, which uh, allows you to do very simple things. Then once you have a, a, a board plugged in, it already selects your libraries uh, that are compatible. So, there is no more risk that you are going to upload a library which is not compatible in any way. Then you have the serial monitor that is working out of the box. And we have a panel. And while if you are looking at something very interesting, you can see help already. We have a glossary and links about your web project. Even for the libraries, we have a lot of examples already plugging in and you can just click on some of the examples for a specific library, it opens immediately. The other cool thing is that this is completely related with a new project tab service where you basically have many new uh, projects that our user and our community uh, upload daily. This is the one that we just we're working on but there are others from from the community directly so let's take a look at this this ultrasonic map mega so you can see all the components use it you can see that the whole code what did we use for this project and it is kind of nice but i think the most interesting thing is that you can directly buy the products from here or for some other project and this is something we are going to release here at the Mega Fair in San Francisco in the Bay Area is that we have the code of every project and you can open the project directly in our web IDE and I'm going to show you with one of um, one of these this is the code it's a light code so if you change it it's immediately uploaded, but I can open just click here oh, okay. and open it in a in my cloud editor. If uh, I'm not logged in, it doesn't care. Someone can share the code with me, just sharing the URL, or I can add to my sketchbook just clicking a button. So if I click a button, it's copied to the cloud, and I can uh, modify it for my purpose. And that's the everything about Arduino Create and the Arduino Cloud we are going to present today.